What's up guys, it's Jay, more than ever kill, and I'm back here on my Krieg Let's Play, and this is episode what? What is this? Episode 52, 53? We lost fucking count, I'm pretty sure this is like 51, and I'm sorry that I didn't say Krieg motherfucking Let's Play. I should have said that. Where's my mind at? Where is it at? Ah! <laughs> so, uh, actually, I do want to say thank you on a serious note to uh, all of you guys that actually supported my latest Road to 30 video. Uh, that was not a very easy video for me to make, uh, especially when talking about that period of my life. I get a little bit emotional, I get a little bit choked up, and I, I think, you know what, I I've earned a goddamn right to get that way, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> look at that shit, and it's all over the place. Get in the goddamn technical, Krieg, get in there. But yeah, like I said, uh, some of my videos get that way when it talks about that point in my life, and I think that's a little bit understandable. Even though, you know, I like to have a little bit of fun, and I like to joke around a bit. Sometimes some of my videos have a little bit more of a serious, dramatic undertone, especially when speaking about my life, because, you know, my, my life has a lot of, uh, a lot of really big ups and a lot of really big downs. And, uh, you know what? It, it's, it's the path that you make through the downs that keeps you going, you know what I mean? That's a uh, that's exactly how I feel about it, but, uh, you know, I, I do want to thank you guys for showing me the support. It really did mean a lot, trust me, like, when I fucking came in here and I seen all those fucking comments from, uh, you know, you guys saying, you know, keep the chin up, fucking, you know, I, I gained a lot more respect for you after seeing you divulge, you know, such personal information, shit like that. It really does, uh, it, it means a lot, it really does, so, uh, thank you, but something I want to talk about is, uh, you know, not, not anything about my Road to 30, but I, I see a lot on my YouTube channel, and people say, they're like, oh, you need to be more professional, you need to be more professional when doing your goddamn fucking videos, and I'm like, why? Why the fuck would I want to be professional while doing my videos, like, I do YouTube for fun, even though I do make a small amount of money off, uh, YouTube, it is definitely not enough to pay the massive fucking undertaking of bills that come in streaming every goddamn month. Those of you guys that are adults, you do know the fucking bills pile up, and, uh, it gets pretty hectic. It really does, but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think just because somebody makes a little bit of money off YouTube that they should, uh, automatically not be able to, uh, you know, have fun with their shit. To go out there and, uh, oh shit, I shouldn't have done this! <laughs> that was a bad idea. Let's, uh, why do I have my lol out? Uh, for those of you guys that missed it, oh, yeah, baby! There we go! There we go. Yesterday, on the road to 30, if you saw, I did a little bit of farming for, uh, the Sheriff of Lynchwood. I wanted to get myself a new goddamn law and order, uh, God damn it! He went away! He went away! That's not cool. Oh my god. I, I ran in there without my release the beast. Can you believe that? That is uh, absolutely fucking hilarious. But yes, uh, yesterday during my Road to 30, I put up footage. Uh, we beat Dukino's mom, grabbed a little bit of XP. Uh, I tried to farm her a couple times to see if I can get a Mongol to drop. Because, uh, who doesn't want a Mongol to drop? I want a Mongol to drop, but we couldn't get it. But, uh, I also beat the Sheriff of Lynchwood, because that's a quest line that gives you a little bit of XP. But also, I farmed the Sheriff of Lynchwood, and I was actually on a Skype call when I was filming that, and I was talking to one of my buddies, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm just sitting here farming the Sheriff of Lynchwood and shit. And he was like, he was like, dude, how the fuck do you farm her so fast? Because, uh, you know, I ended up, we ended up getting this, uh, wall right here that the Sheriff of Lynchwood dropped. Nice little... Nice little lolly lol. And then we also got this beast to drop right here. Nice little sheriff's badge. That's, uh, and he's like, ah, fuck, did you get that shit to drop? And I was like, hey, the fucking farming her is easy as shit, bro. And, uh, I, I showed him exactly what I was doing. I got a, uh, what do you call that? Where you, where you can actually screen share with people. Uh, I got into that with him and I showed him how I farmed her. And he's like, dude, I had no fucking idea that you could farm her that fucking fast, so uh, I might actually make a just a tip video on that for you guys, since, uh, you know, my buddy has a lot of time in the Borderlands, just like me, and he didn't know, uh, you know, the technique that I use to farm Mr., uh, Miss, 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 uh, Miss Jack! Hey, come on! Are you serious? Woo! 
Oh shit! That was this is it's a cluster fucking here. But yeah, I wanted to talk about the professionalism thing on YouTube because, in my opinion, in my opinion, isn't it the professionalism on YouTube that actually ruined YouTube? I mean, if if I recall, YouTube was like supposed to be a place where you could be yourself, express yourself, have a little bit of fun. And uh, it, it seems to me with, with the way YouTube has been going lately and like a lot of the newer commentators that I've seen, some people just take themselves a little bit way too, uh, way too fucking seriously on YouTube. And I think, I think that really detracts from some of these guys' videos because I know a few people that actually have really fucking... Really, really nice fucking uh, entertaining videos, but those are few and far between because every other time they're making a video, they're worried about being professional and everything. Like, even if you see it in my guides, I have no problem laughing in my guides or making fun of, you know, a mistake I made or something like that. And I think, I think, you know, that's the best thing I can, oh, oh, we got, what? It's, it's a double E-Tech. This is. That's crazy! What is this? Doll, Malawan. Um, I might take those, and I'm gonna use those with the sheriff's badge. So we're gonna have to get rid of this thick root. I don't even use those anymore anyway. We're, uh, we're getting to the edge to where, you know, Torg weapons are a little bit too slow and underpowered for what I'm trying to do against these enemies, because Krieg's all about risk and reward. So if I'm not killing motherfuckers fast, then, uh, I'm dying fast. Because I need to kill them to get my fucking uh, health back. But yeah, like I said, I, I think the professionalism uh, stigma that everybody's trying to become the next big YouTube commentator and they're worried about their views and their subs and all that shit, I think that detracts from people's videos and actually works opposite to where it'll actually hinder your growth. Because if you're not, like, being yourself and just having... Like, the biggest example I can tell you is, like, look at... Look at how fast C-Natters grew back in the day. I mean, C-Natters is like one of the OG, like, I, I don't really, like, I don't, I don't have anything against C-Natters. Uh, I mean, I don't like his videos personally, but I mean, if you look at what he's done, I mean, he's just been himself on his YouTube videos and he grew. And I think that's, uh, that's what people are missing. They're trying to be, you know, the next tips and tricks guy, the next, the next big fucking, I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, motherfucker. See, like, I, I don't even have to explain myself because the number of YouTube commentators out there that take themselves way too fucking seriously is just, it's in an abundance. You could probably look at your sub box and I bet you you're subbed to like two or three of the guys that, that you could just say, yeah, this guy's a little bit way too seriously. Like, if you look at all the big channels that are out there, the ones that I'm, I'm talking about big, like, they're, oh, are you serious? What the fuck just hit me? That's a turret. We gotta take that turret out. Yeah, baby! <laughs> but yeah, if you take a look at all the people that are pretty much number one on YouTube, or in the top ten at least, they're all people that just, oh shit! It's the Raptor! Those motherfuckers, let me tell you! Those mother, oh, I'm in the gunner seat. That's not good. Uh, switch! Switch, Krieg! Get me the fuck out of here! You have no health! Oh, you scumbag jet loader. And he's gonna fly away. I don't care about your shield, motherfucker! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> and I can't... Why can't I release the beast? What happened to my release the beast? What is upon me? What is on me? Oh, wait. We can get that. We can get that. Get back here, surveyor. Don't you do it. What?! Oh, you fucking asshole! <laughs> yeah, like I said, though, there's you guys that uh, say, like, oh, my God, you should be more professional. You should fucking stop cursing. You should stop being an asshole in your videos. I'm just me, man. I'm just me. I'm not, like, I've never started this YouTube thing to actually grow my YouTube. The only reason that I actually started my YouTube channel is because my buddies were all YouTube commentators. Uh... They weren't really big or anything. Uh, one of my buddies, D-Hoop, he had like, I think he had like five, six hundred subs when I started. Uh, my buddy, Thus I Atone, he, uh, he had like, what, like eight, nine hundred, somewhere around there when I started. And, uh, my buddy Blash, he really wanted to be 
into YouTube and everything. Like he was, he 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 knew all about all the commentators and everything, the whole YouTube process and shit. And I was like, wow, you know, this seems like something that I want to get into, try my fucking hand at. And uh, my first video was actually just me showing them the Call of Duty estate house that I built in Minecraft, and it just kind of grew from there. And, uh, sure, I mean, if I kept up with Minecraft and didn't go to Fortress Craft and, you know, maybe if I did Call of Duty or Battlefield instead of Gotham City Imposters, I would have, I would have had a way bigger channel. Yeah, but you know what? It's not, you, you can't look at, at what your channel could have been. You gotta look at it as what it is, and it is what it is. That's what my channel is. It is what it is. My channel is just me having fun playing video games and sometimes, you know, with my road to 30, uh, things might get a little bit deep, things might get a little bit emotional, but you know what? That's life, and if you're not having fun in life with what you're doing, then I think you're doing it wrong, you know what I mean? I, everybody, everybody hates their jobs, but that's why we play games, isn't it? Why would I want my game to become my job? Like, I think that's like, right? You, you think about it. Like, everybody's doing that shit ass backwards, on fucking YouTube, because they're like, I want to go on YouTube and play games for a job. Well, I don't, motherfucker. I want to play games to have fun. I want I want people to watch my shit and be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want people just to watch my shit and be like, hey, this looks like a guy that I can fucking relate to. Because he just sounds like one of those motherfuckers that's just, you know, hanging around in the fucking, you know, in the basement that's chilling with me and my buddies and... We're just having a good time. We're just... Ah, wait a minute. Did I take the darts? Yes, yes I did. Uh, let's see what I got. We're gonna have to go corrosive on this. And we're gonna have to go here. That That's not gonna be enough. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna be terrible. Uh, do I have anything else corrosive out here? Slag Zooka. Uh, you cannot slag... Saturn. That's one thing you cannot do. Uh, Caustic Venom might be a little bit... What's the what's the chance to corrode on it? What do we got? 16 point... Oh, yeah. We're going with the Caustic Venom Loaded Dart. And since I'm going to be there, the melee is not going to help me out very much. So we're going with Pistol Damage. Because I got a dart, baby! I got a dart! <laughs> so, uh, until we get there... We're just gonna use this fucking shotgun and smash and fucking smash and grab. Smash and grab, baby. Woo hoo hoo. Cause I got I got enough power with my actual melee here when I release the beast. I don't need the actual rapier. The only reason I keep it is because it keeps me moving fast through the game. It keeps me one shot in every fucking enemy. But if I'm if I'm not certain there, that looked like that was a four million fucking melee on that skag right there. I'm not sure. It could have been a 400,000, but, uh, <laughs> look at these motherfuckers. All of you are going to die. Um, yeah, that was 400,000, my bad. I was going to say that that fucking four, that would be crazy. That would be crazy wild. And, uh, look at that. Did you guys know about that? No. None of y'all know about that, chat. Ain't nobody know. <laughs> now my shield's down. That is, uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we're gonna, let's go ahead and reload our shit before we get in this fight with Saturn, because this is a, this is a fight that's not very fun while you're leveling up, it really isn't, so let's uh, let's check this box up here real quick, we don't need Saturn, shit, um, see the dart, the dart homes in on shit like that, so, um, and it's homing in on his side turrets, why is it doing that? Why, why are you doing that? Oh, 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 it's the second wind skag. Now he's following me. What's all out there? Come on, level 50 Saturn. Get off me, skaggy. Get away from me. Oh, oh, it's his turrets that are showing up on the map like that. That's weird. That's weird as shit, isn't it? Oh, shit, now we're just gonna have to... We're gonna have to try to fucking bust him down with this, with these axes. Oh shit, it's actually doing decent work, right? I don't know, it's uh, it's hitting him pretty hard though. Um, 
It's not hitting them as hard as I wanted it to. Let's just say that. Let's throw a couple of these slaggies out there. I know, I know it's not really going to help out very much, but fuck it. Why not? Try to get this up. Let's let's use this SMG. Why am I? Uh, the SMG is not really doing as much work as I thought either. <laughs> Good job, Saturn. Good job. Let's uh, let's try to keep them edged out on this fucking uh, this little bit of rock right here. This is something that's actually really easy to do uh, because he can't. He's not gonna hit you with the. Uh, he doesn't have a line of sight on you, so he's not gonna hit you. With those Holman fucking surveyors. And those things, those things are what will put you down faster than a motherfucker. Like, seriously. So, uh, we're getting like 4,000 damage on him right now, which ain't bad. I'm, uh, let's uh, try going back to the dart. Where's the dart? That's not the dart. God damn it! Where the fuck is the dart? Let's see if that, uh, because we are boosting with the, uh, uh, shit. Yeah, see, you don't want to give him that line of sight on you. If he sees you, he's gonna be fucking mad. Especially since I took his turrets out and I can't get a wind off him. That's not gonna be good. So we're just gonna have to stay here and just bust him down with a fucking sheriff's badge and a dart. <laughs> it's like the first time that a dart has ever come into fucking use on my goddamn channel. Look at that. Look at that dart. Taking Saturn out, baby. What are you... Yeah, he's gonna start his fucking attack now, see? See that? That's not good. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, we can finish him off now. You're done, bitch. And I said, God damn. I said, God damn. What do we get? Max health relic. I don't want no max health relic. I want my health to be low. So I can release the beast, motherfucker. And that's it, huh? That's it. Good job, Saturn. For uh, not dropping me a hive. I've got him to drop a hive before, though. That shit was sick. I was like, whoa, what's up here? Uh, we got a blue up there. Let's go check that out. I wouldn't mind checking out a blue. And we got a skill point, too. Woo, this is a very good episode right now. We're at, like, uh, 15, 16 minutes, somewhere around there. My actual counter time is, like, 18 minutes, but I start the counter before I uh, get into the goddamn game. So, uh, let's see. Oppressed Rocketeer! Yeah! Deferred Projectile Convergence. Um, yeah. 7,000 damage. Do I have anything? 5,000. Yeah, you know what? This will shoot faster too, so it's time to upgrade our equipment. Even though, even though those aren't the best of equipments right there, it's, it's better than nothing, really. And that's what we're going for right now. It's better than nothing. And what we're going for is there, right there. Once we get that blood explosion, baby, and we fucking, we start blood exploding people, this will get way, way easier. Because all I gotta do then is hit my singularity, and then suck them all in, and then just beat the shit out of people. That's why I got a rubberized slag singularity. I don't like rubberized either, but you know what? It was the first slag singularity I came across. I actually got it uh, from Dukino's mom. From Dukino's mom, so, uh... That's going to help us out in the future with trying to fucking pick up uh, some blood explosions and clear out areas really fucking fast. But speaking of really fast, this area right here is, uh, let's let's go back with the melee because we're going to have that constructor and yeah, we're, we're going to want to melee our asses off right here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fucking pull this out right here. Actually, let's put the... Uh, Let's put the rocket away. The rocket's not really going to help us out much. Uh, we're going to pull out Captain Blade's rapier. Actually, you know what? We don't really need the rapier. We could use the law. The law will give us a, a boost over top that. And the damage on it is actually a little bit better when uh, going for that. But yeah, this right here, boom. Toss me a fucking grenade. Suck them all away from me. Get that shit. Where's the constructor, baby? Constructor's not coming out. Fuck the constructor. We're gone. We're gone. We're in here. All we gotta do is get upstairs and get ourselves that motherfucking map. And then once we get that, we can do stupid shit like we did last time. Like jump out of here without the map. So yeah, fuck that constructor. Oh shit! No. 
Can I get a wind off of an exploder? Yes, yes I can. Alright, so we're just downloading shit. Fucking shit up. Um, that's not good either. Oh, you're gonna die! <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I didn't know you, uh, wanted to hit me in the face real quick. That's, uh, that's alright. Get out of here, exploder. Oh, no. Give me my health back. Yeah! Take the map data, son. Woo! <laughs> alright. There it is. That's not good. Where's my law? <laughs> this is not good. Not. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now I can just beat his ass. Whoop! See you later, motherfucker! And we're done! Woo! I thought that was gonna be a lot worse than it really was. Oh my god, we just. In, out, with the old in, out, baby. That's what. That's what you call it. The old. That, that, that's, that's literally the old in, out, in, out. <laughs> now. And now our true Vault Hunter mode is almost scaled to 50. Which means we're, uh, right where we should be. Honestly, we're level 49. Our enemies are right here. And we're almost at the end of the game. So, I think, uh, I think as far as leveling up goes, we've done a good job with staying on track with, uh, the main storyline. So, I'm very pleased with that. I'm happy with the way that this, uh, this Let's Play is going. I'm happy that you guys are actually enjoying it. Especially since this Let's Play's been going on for like two goddamn months. <laughs> I'm serious. And I, I think think it's amazing that you guys will watch shit with continuity like that. And you don't care about being Mr. Professional on YouTube. Because you know why? We're all just trying to have fun. And the rent is too goddamn fucking high. <laughs> so, one more time for this episode. We are going to go ahead, turn this in. And then while we're next to Mordecai, I'm going to release the beast. Just to be like, Wah! just for just for fun, right? We have our health there. Why not? Why not? So if you want to see my farming guide on uh, the Sheriff of Lynchwood, make sure you tell me down below. And I'll make that. And I'll get that shit up in the morning. We'll have that in the morning. And then we'll probably have another Krieg Let's Play tomorrow. Right? We'll have some of that. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll do some fucking, I don't know. Like, we'll, we'll do some Seraph guides, too. I have... There's some Seraph weapons I need to get on, so... Uh, we need to do some of that. <laughs> Give me my fucking data mining, motherfucker. Shield recharge rate. Shotgun damage. Uh, I'm just gonna take that and sell it, bitch. The Talent of God. You guys know what that means. We are heading into Ultimate Volt Hunter mode within the next few episodes. And things are going to get crazy. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. My name is Jay. More than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it. Because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. And that you don't give a fuck that I say motherfucker because I say motherfucker because I don't want to be a motherfucking professional. Because nobody gives a fuck about being a motherfucking professional when you're just trying to have a little bit of motherfucking fun. That is too many syllables. Apologize. <laughs> so, like I said, my name is Jay Morton After Kill. Make sure you guys really comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I also want to thank you for your support that you gave me on my road to 30 yesterday because it really did mean a lot to me. So, I'm going to see you guys later. <laughs>